So let me present our guest today. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Swan. No. Hello, <laughs> Swan. Labud. Do you know Swan in Serbia? Labud. Labud. Yeah. Labud with P. Labud. Labud. It would be vocative. Uh, would be. Zdravo, Labud. There you go. Oh, oh, I like that. Nice. I like yeah. it. Zdravo, Labud. <laughs> Do you want to introduce? We are Ivana and. Of the Yamaki. I exactly. don't want to change that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We're so bad at intros. You, I think you just, I know. You, yeah, we'll get there. Maybe season 10, who knows? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we have a great guest today. She Aww. is an artist, a comedian to me, <laughs> celebrity <Definitely>. in Serbia. <laughs> and we have a lot of questions to ask you, Swan. Okay. So, First of all, we would like to know, like, who you are. Like, okay, how did you end up in Serbia? <laughs> okay, well, I'm a Canadian girl who was living in Canada all my life, and I've stayed in North America my entire life. And so, my partner at the time, we were planning to leave Canada so I can go explore Europe for the first time ever. So we came to. I'm going to make this a long story short, but we came to Europe. <laughs> Um, he wanted to give me the, the greatest experience of a lifetime. So we started north and we're going to make our way down. And um, so we went every month, we went to a new country. And then we were in Budapest at the time and realized our Schengen zone days were up. So we either had to go back to Canada or go to a non-EU country. So we did a little research and Serbia was the, the, the best option. So he said, we're going to Serbia. And I was like, where where's with Serbia like I was I, I admit my ignorance like I was one of those like stupid American people who didn't <laughs> even know what Serbia was yeah. and then so we came to Serbia and I was like what is this place like it's so different than any place I had ever been like wow. the outside you know it's the infrastructure is not the most you know glamorous as like say other yeah. countries in Switzerland and things like that but there was something so different about Serbia like that I could feel the moment that I had got here and so I first planned to stay a year and then a year turned into two years and then <laughs> two years turned into three years. And now I'm almost like on my fifth year, going into my fifth year here. And I'm, and I can't believe it. I was here this long and like thinking back of all my experience, I could see how much I've grown because of Serbia. Like I can't imagine my life now without Serbia being like yeah. the, the big segment of my like growth from a child to a, an adult woman. <laughs> so wow. I came, That's true. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Like I came to Serbia as like an immature girl who didn't even know what like anything <laughs> of the Balkans or where it was. And now I feel like I've matured into a woman. Thank you to, I guess, you know, Serbia, because I think that this, the women in Serbia are, are so fascinating. And I, uh, ever since I came here I've, I've always observed like there's something about the Serbian women <laughs> like I, I don't what is that the thing about them I just didn't know what it was and I don't know I just the more I observed and I just saw this such a special country and like the people so so full of like soul and yeah. I just loved it so I love staying here and but for the first little while I was very insecure you know being almost like an alien and like not like anyone else and didn't know the language but in the last year, I started to feel more comfortable, which is why I started to really start. Uh, I wanted to make these videos to express my experience here and what I learned and observed. And yeah. so, I okay, I need to say something. This is super shocking for me because I always thought, as you all speak Serbian from time to time in your videos, mm. I thought you have some relative <laughs> here, like yeah, like your yeah. Baka is Serbian, or I was expecting ah. a family connection. Actually, right. I was like, a lot of people she's do. probably half Serbian. I was saying to myself, I mean, I I am so surprised right now about this story. <laughs> yeah, mm, no, I have no Serbian anywhere in my family at all. Like none and oh so God. and I grew up I didn't know any other languages besides English so for me learning Serbian is, is quite difficult yeah. so uh -huh. my videos I I like I write the script I have some of my followers help me with the words and I like <laughs> practice them and then I create the video and mm. I think sometimes it takes like 100 takes to like get it right <laughs> So yeah, but it's so impressive, honestly, because I, I thought literally you had, as you said, like a grandma who's telling you like, or you, you like, 
you spend hours listening to these phrases like very spontaneous and then you know how to act them out and uh i just thought okay your serbian is just a bit rusty but like you basically experienced that and like had this, this your whole life and ended up exactly. being like yeah quite impressive <laughs> but i think yeah. um yeah, I wanted to say that it's really you being in Serbia, like you being anywhere living outside of your country for a while, not for like mm-hmm. just a month. I think this is the, the, the best thing you can do for yourself. I think so too. Because that's yeah, really how do. you grow, right? I mean, yeah. that's... That, yeah, because... Yeah, yeah. You oh, I was going to say, when I went back to Canada once for a visit and I could really tell like how much I've changed by going back to my hometown mm-hmm. and how everybody there was basically the same, but like me coming now after I've, I've like become the Serbian, <laughs> I, I felt like different, not in a, not in a, way, in a better way towards them, but like myself, I love who I became. Yeah. Like I really needed it. It's like, I can't, I was ended up in Serbia for a reason. Yeah. So beautiful so, story you've got. Yeah. Okay. Wherever you go, you, this is gonna, if you, even if you decide to stay or go, this is gonna be a place where you like matured right yeah you know, I got to know who you are so it's always going to be your home in a way yeah and even like when I do like go traveling to other countries I do you know I miss Serbia like there's just something here that other countries don't have yeah it's a really special country oh, yeah so. and nice like I know here. with my videos like I've made over 100 videos now and I and I still feel like I have so many ideas still to get out into like short 30 second videos like there's endless ideas here because mm-hmm. the country is so colorful and rich with so much you know jokes and history oh no caring yeah. like there's so much <laughs> <laughs> so you lagged a bit sorry i think i skipped like the last part mm. but you said it was like such a rich country so many topics to like like go through and so many ideas right that's what you're yeah, saying like, yeah yeah like the, like there are endless ideas here for video content yeah. There's so much. I'm, I'm, I'm curious to learn when actually this idea popped up in your mind, like to create mm. these Canada versus Serbia videos. Ah. I mean, how did you come up with the idea and how long did you think about it first and then you started doing it? Mm. Well, I was working in marketing for a long time for a supplement company and I was in charge of creating their content. So I kind of got in this flow of making, being a content creator. And then I realized like, I want to do this for myself instead of for another company. So I decided to quit my job and thought I would, I'll just, you know, I'll take some time off and just play and make some content. So I tried some things that didn't really work. So I decided to pivot. And I thought, since I'm in Serbia, I'll make some Serbian content. Mm. And because the rest of the world is so misinformed really of what is Ser- what Serbia is like and I thought I'm going to start making some videos, you know, about Serbia I I didn't, I actually didn't even intend for them to be funny. I didn't think I was funny at all. Like I'm not really a funny person. (laughs) So I decided to make one video, the first video that I made, it just, it took off the the first video. I was like, wow, like these people really love, like love this, this video. I better make another one. So the more I got into that, I'm going to make videos. Every time I got an idea or walk down the street and see something, I would just write it down. And my list just kept getting bigger and bigger. And then when I would come to create the video, I didn't intend for it to be funny, but as I started acting the characters and, you know, putting on the role as a Serbian girl, it just started becoming funny. (laughs) Yeah. Maybe it's like the Serbian, you know, the Serbs like bring out that in me maybe. And, you know, I, we had a, 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 one of our last episodes was, um, I think it was like about, about guys in Serbia and yeah. everyone's like Slavic guys. They're so serious. They're so funny. Like, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I, like it's, it's the, the, one of the most important things you need to have is like, they're always joking with you, you know, obviously if you're a part of the circle and so on, it's like, it would be so boring to be serious. Right. So like everything is just like a, you know, fun it should be fun, and I guess mm-hmm. also like, having that conversation or even meeting someone like in the first second, you just want to make people laugh. So I, I guess that that's one of the reasons why we it kind of be, can be like a bit comical, like the way we act, mm-hmm. you know. But yeah, yeah, like the people, yeah, that would actually be a good skit idea about the dating here and 
or like yeah. you know what the men are like here i can i have to bring some new characters in so maybe i should bring a serbian man or something exactly yes. <laughs> we need to find like a very typical like a stereotypical serbian name but i think you really bring out like a very different perspective because we do have i'm following some of like the serbian actors that are doing like mm. stand-up comedy something like that oh, yeah. I love it. But the thing is that they have one way of looking at it, but you have a totally different way. And I I mean, Serbia is not really like a popular touristy destination. So Mm -hmm. anytime I see someone who is visiting Serbia or like staying in Serbia for a bit longer or doing videos like these or just talking about it, I'm every time I'm just so fascinated. So to hear your side of the story, how you see it is just, I think it's just really interesting for us. Yeah. yeah, and by the way, I tested on uh, Kurushevat's people, like how they react to your videos. I showed all my friends oh. some of your videos, and they laughed a lot. So it <laughs> is applying to the south as well, as well yeah. as oh, the south. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you, apart from these uh, skits, you also draw beautiful yes. animals. Thank you. What? So was it something that you already, you know, have been doing yeah. for years earlier or did it start at the same time? Tell us about that part as well. Um, well, just ever since I was a little kid, I've always been drawing and, mm-hmm. you know, just always practicing the skill of like trying to get it as realistic as possible and developing my skill in realism. But mm-hmm. so since I came to Europe, I, I stopped and kind of put it away for a while and thought, no, this is silly. I don't need to do this. And then just recently I started again. And just for fun, because I was at in the mall and I saw some colored pencils and I was like, oh my gosh, I want to, dr- I want to draw again but for fun. And then I started drawing. And then I, for me, I was really shy to share that my drawings on Instagram, but I thought, okay, I'll just do show and see what people think. And then I just really loved it. So I started doing more and more. And then, and it was fun to get, see people's reaction, get their feedback. And well, I love them. I Thank you. It. Because I have like, uh, so the first time I heard about you was actually when we did an episode on, I think it was something, man, I can't really remember something. It was something about animals. I don't know. I have this oh. one t-shirt that has a lynx on it. Yeah. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> and it's, it's kind of like a very similar way that you're drawing. And I bought it in, in Germany because I just love cats. So I was like, <laughs> and okay. uh, yeah, so it's like a visit a place where they do have like have links and they're out in the wild and so on so I had to buy it and then I thought when I saw that like you you mentioned us in a story that you were inspired and I saw, thought oh my god she's drawing she must <laughs> she must be drawing my links <laughs> exactly like that was oh my god <laughs> but it was uh, but it's exactly like the style that I love and mm-hmm. and it is like people like uh, artists actually drawing and then I'm guessing like like, it, I don't know, it's some sort of company from, I, I don't know if it's the Canada or the US or something like that, oh. but it's like a supporting artist. Um, so I love, I love that way of drawing and I love oh. animals. So it's like the two things that I love. Oh. So, yeah. I have to send you a, a print of the links. Me too. I wanted to because okay. uh, it was it was the mascot of my rugby team. So I was like, I, I was planning to ask oh. you if you have sold it or if you can oh. buy it. I, have, I haven't put the originals up for sale yet, but I will. Okay. <laughs> In line, in line. I'll let you know first. <laughs> Thanks a lot. So you're <laughs> creative. Like pa- yeah. Yes, I love to be creative. I mean, and and like, uh, I mean, I, I why I, the reason why I started doing YouTube videos is because I was really like unhappy at work, and I really just wanted mm. to do something recreative, and and that was like, oh, let me just edit videos, like film myself, like do some whatever random stuff. Um, so I, it started as a creative thing. So, and that's how I see you doing what you're doing. Obviously there has to be Mm -hmm. some structure and so on, but like, in essence, it is creative. It is how you put it together. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's very fun because, you know, I get to be creative with writing the script, you know, putting together the characters, acting the characters, and then, and then editing the videos after, and then when you put them up and, you know, it's like all, it's like a whole process and it's so fun, you know? And it's a lot of work. And yeah, it is. Work. I think people don't understand, but it's just really a lot of work. But yeah. Okay. What's your favorite have... part about? Oh, sorry. You go ahead. <laughs> I, I mean, I can keep. I want to ask you a million questions. 
<laughs> okay, as I was gonna say, like as you're already showing, like what you see as a very different point, like in this culture. But what was the biggest shock for you when you came into Serbia? Cultural shock. Um, I think it was that there was there wasn't so many rules around. You know, like you know, you have to eat at a certain time, you have to dress a certain way, you can't walk on the, down the street here or you have to I don't know there's just like less rules like there, there's <laughs> everywhere I've been even in Europe all the countries I've been in Europe there's there are countries that's more you know with rules Canada like you can't say certain things do certain things we're here like it's a lot more free you know like yeah. if you are under the age and you want to have a drink it's not a big deal you know you yeah your, your, your baba probably gives you rakia when you're five or something you, are, you know and but in canada it's illegal and dangerous and and yeah. because of some rules i think people um like disobey those rules mm. i don't know but here just people actually if they seem very like respectful of the non-rules i don't know how to explain it so that was That's the biggest true. shock for me do you yeah. know about the word emet no no oh you oh this has to be your topic for the next video or one of the videos i'm writing this down enat enat yeah i n a t enat okay. is doing something um is, is it not how do you say it in, in spite of no how would you how would it would be so do something contradictory so someone tells you you cannot drink and they're like now i'm going to show you that i can drink right <laughs> so like you do it we say oh. yeah so that's yes. enough so don't tell me what i can do because i'll show you that i can't do that right so mm. like it, it's a very very omnipresent in our culture so i guess that like if we were young like for example no one's gonna like the policemen are not gonna catch us if we're drinking they don't care but um right. but yeah if our parents say don't don't drink you know then exactly that we're we're gonna do it exactly because you said that we shouldn't right so then our parents are just like oh my god like just go for <laughs> it and then you you hopefully you'll get you know fed Later. up <laughs> yeah exactly and you figure out it's not that much fun so yeah that's how it is i love that i can, I can make it i can probably make a few videos out of just eat of eat not Exactly. so many videos it's like our whole philosophy even my my well, ex would joke around it about it so many times because i have this inner i don't know need to prove myself that like whatever that there's no no there's no boundaries for me like there's no borders like there's only sky right <laughs> so like i can do whatever i want um, is that the yeah. serbian mentality I think yes. I yeah, think that's big it. part I think of you it. You just said it in the perfect way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a lot of it is is just you know subconscious, and I, but I think it's just the uh, it's just how we. I don't know. We don't like mm. authority. We just don't. Yeah, I think that's exactly. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Ma Maki, I... keep us on track because uh, yes, like I just keep. Unfortunately, <laughs> I, even though I enjoy it a lot, I know we have limited time, yeah. so sorry. <laughs> so you said. <laughs> Canadians didn't know where I mean as a Canadian you didn't know where mm -hmm. Serbia was and stuff how about Serbians how much do they know about Canadian culture or mm -hmm. what do they think about Canada in general when you say I am Canadian what is the reaction that you get oh it's usually um like why are you here what are you <laughs> doing here like why are you why Serbia yeah <laughs> I mean valid questions valid questions yeah 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 and even canadians are like why serbia like why not croatia like why serbia yeah. but you have to you have but, to be in serbia really to know why serbia but do they so, know a lot about uh, canada i mean you didn't know a lot about oh. uh, serbia but serbia is a small country right and it's not mm -hmm. yeah so easy to kind of miss but mm. canada, i mean a bit bigger i, I think <laughs> the most reaction that i get is oh i think i have some family in toronto yeah so i think yeah. that's like the most that you know that i've gotten or oh i've been there once for a month or a day mm. is, is it or it must be really cold there like it's just the the classic <laughs> stereotype yeah okay we will ask you a couple of stereotype questions later on by the way okay i'm very curious about them so you okay. have learned serbian very well tell us uh yeah, no it's okay <laughs> <laughs> one thing i mean compared to me i guess you're much better one thing you are good and one thing you're bad at 
when speaking Serbian. Before we continue with the show, here's a quick reminder. This podcast is free for everyone and supported by listeners like you. We hope that this podcast is useful and companion to you. This is a labor of love for both of us. To help us continue creating useful content for everyone, we will appreciate your help. If you have the means, you can support us in different ways. You may just go to buymeacoffee.com slash podcast and send us some cups of coffee. You may also become a member of our show on patreon.com slash podcast and get extra benefits like bonus content, full transcripts of the show in Serbian, or even join us on the show. We rely on your support to help everyone more in learning Serbian language and culture. Thanks for joining us today. And now let's get back to our episode. Okay. Well, <laughs> I'm, my, one of my fa- actually one of my favorite words that I first learned when I got here was moja. Mm-hmm. And that, and then when you're when I heard this that your podcast was moja cafe, I loved it because because I remember walking around and always hear women or people go like moja. And I was like, what does that mean? Moja, like keep hearing this word. <laughs> so now I beautiful all word. The time. So and I'm um, I learned my favorite thing to say is TC Lepa Danas. And then you just <laughs> love to say that to women because I, I love seeing the reaction when I say it. Like the, like if I was to say to a woman yeah. in Canada, like, you look beautiful today, she go, Oh, thanks. Or like, you know, it's just you know, but when I see yeah. you like, oh, Hala, oh, Hala. Yeah. like they're so grateful to hear it. So I just love <laughs> saying that. Um, yeah. the worst thing oh my gosh I'm still so bad with numbers when I'm at the market like he's still <laughs> I don't know why I'm so awful <laughs> yes you know, I don't know why some numbers, numbers I'm still struggling with too like mm-hmm. dua, debit. like when you use them in hundreds I'm like well, yeah she said 200 or 900 like that's a huge big difference <laughs> oh yeah oh wow <laughs> didn't really think of that but we also I was just thinking we do have like shortened like chatiri I use it usually you can say chatiri like these kind of things that keep shorten and exactly. yeah, I don't know. at least it's not like in English, 13, 30. Like there's a lot of people that just say like foreigners that uh-huh. something in between and I'm like 30 or 13. What did you say? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, another thing that came to my mind is that it is habit that like in Canada, when I'm shopping, they usually say, um, can I get you anything or is there anything else for you? And I, um, and I you know the habit was, that I would say, yeah, oh, they say, is that all for you? Like that's the habit. Mm-hmm. And I would say, yes, that's everything. So mm-hmm. here they when I when I order, they always say Josh Nesto. And I would go, yes. And they would just, <laughs> or I like, oh duh. Like, and, I, and they're just stand there staring at me, like, okay, like, what do you want? Then? And I'm like, no, like that's okay. No, no, Josh yeah. Nesto. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> they've actually been like, is that everything? Or no, does it want anything else? They're right. Anything yeah. else. Yeah. It was like a, so this was a, still even here. This is a rhetorical <laughs> question, woman. Like, yeah. <laughs> okay. About you said in Canada, uh, this is the question. So next question: What do you miss about Canada? Like, what is the thing that you feel like um, having in Serbia? I kind of miss <laughs> driving. Canada. Like, I miss having having a car and mm-hmm. just you know driving because I love going cruising and you know yeah just playing music and going for a long drive through the mountains or something but I haven't driven at all since I've been here mm-hmm. so I kind of miss driving and I think if I was to rent a car there's no they're all I don't know if there's automatic I don't know how to drive manual mm-hmm. so I don't yes. know if that counts uh, I miss my family and I miss um I don't know, sometimes I miss like the huge the huge ginormous grocery stores where it's just like way too much stuff and everything is so big I don't know why I actually prefer the grocery stores here in the markets but sometimes I miss that mm-hmm. yeah that was actually a shot now that I when I come back to Serbia and I'm like oh my god I have to go to five stores if I want right. to buy oh why isn't everything at one store right like, yeah. yeah yes like everything's in one big like a Walmart if you're aware of, you know things like that where here I I go on I have to go on scavenger hunt sometimes to find certain things (laughs) yeah (laughs) it's just fun like it makes life exciting and you know makes you work hard for for yeah (laughs) but but women would usually go to different stores to like find uh things on sale or on on a discount right so Mm. it's so important to save these five dinners you need to (laughs) pad like you know like a cycle to I don't know whichever 
store to like grocery store to buy some this one thing that you save mm -hmm. five dinners and then you're like so proud of yourself and another thing that i noticed that people would just always whenever you say something is nice they would be like oh it was that much money so that they can tell you how skilled they are that they ah. save money, you ah. know yeah so, well not that much with the food although yeah we, we do that too like if i if my mom sends me to the grocery store and she says buy the yogurt and then i buy it she's like oh my god you bought the most expensive one I'm like why did you buy that one <laughs> instead of being happy that it's tasty or something she's like no put it I'm back there. whatever <laughs> but with the clothes it's like um oh my god like i love those jeans yeah they were that many like i don't know like oh. that is only you know i got them oh. on sale and i'm like okay i just was complimenting you really? that's funny it's a, but it's a, it's a skill right and then like uh i don't know people appreciate that weird you're but giving everyone... me so many ideas exactly and <laughs> markets have different prices really i mean they're not yeah, in, they in canada maybe it wouldn't mm. be that big difference but here i see that there are huge differences in different markets mm -hmm. <laughs> that must be one of the reasons okay are you ready for the reactions to stereotypes okay <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> okay, shall we go one by one? You wanna? Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. For Canada first, right? For Canada first. Okay. Yeah. So it's been 365 days in Canada. A year. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. More like 300. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So I'm guessing, wait, wait, what are the well, it depends on where you are, right? Does it depend? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. I think on like the western side, it's it's a lot warmer, mm. but still, spring starts seems to start late, and summer ends early, and fall starts early. Like the summer is just really short. You don't have yeah. a lot of time. Where here it's starting to be spring. You know, it's warm yeah. now, so it starts. You get just more warm weather here, and it just. It's, you know, the weather, it fluctuates a lot in Canada. You know, it's not every single day, you know, in the summer, every day is going to be 25 to 30 degrees. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, just some, it's, in a whole day, it could go from 30 to 15 to wind to rain. Yeah. It's just like, it's like all over the map. Crazy. So good that you're in Serbia now. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. If you like that weather. Yes. Okay. Canadi should I read? Canadians yes. put maple syrup on all food <laughs> no, no. Um, i love that they have maple syrup here but yes, I mean, yeah, I think it's, it's new i think it's true i don't know i think yeah i think it's true because you can buy maple syrup in jugs like mm. this like huge i mean it makes yeah. sense because it's uh accessible right so it's local so yeah is that is that a well-known stereotype it is. I mean, yeah. I think of Canada, I think of maple syrup. I don't know about you. <laughs> me too, me too. <laughs> At least we have one thing that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Canadians are into hockey games. Yes. A lot. You? Mm. How about you, personally? Not so much, no. <laughs> I'm not as a huge sports fan, but like everyone in my family, all my friends, like they're really, like hockey is a huge is it like the they biggest sacrifice their they sacrifice their life for it oh wow so it's like, Sorry, what it's did like you ask? is it like the biggest the most popular uh sports in, yes. in okay okay that makes sense amazing you should i go okay yeah. canadians are proud not to be american well you kind of are actually you kind of are because it's north america but okay yeah <laughs> like but uh... also like canadians love like they love america they always go to america and they i think canadians are known for doing any everything americans do like they're kind of copy mm. cats of america oh mm. i didn't know that i see okay i don't know if the canadians are watching this they're gonna hate me but oh they, they, i'm pretty <laughs> sure they won't find be, you don't worry <laughs> i'm pretty sure there's gonna be something controversial because i always get into trouble when i talk about serbia but Exactly. Uh, and the last thing about Canada, Canadians apologize all the time. It's true. It's true. And I, I sometimes I I in the store here and I like bump into somebody and go, oh sorry, and they'll, yeah. they'll like giggle because they're like, oh classic, like yeah. Canadian, sorry. <laughs> like I I admit I do say it often. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
now now about Serbia, Serbia. right? Yeah. Serbian stereotypes. Let's see if those five years have <laughs> okay <laughs> have given you some knowledge. Yeah, Serbs First. drink a lot. <laughs> do and they not yeah. only do they drink more than I thought, but like they can handle it. You yeah. know, it doesn't affect them the next day. But it's, it's exercise. <laughs> it's exercise <laughs> practice. Like with perfect. rakia, for instance, like I'll have one rocky and like the next day I'm, i'll need a couple days to recover and serbs can have you know five in one night and they're like they don't feel it i, yeah. I, I admire that a lot yeah you have to keep up with them mm-hmm. or to have one in the morning with your coffee and then the rest of the days you know yeah do you do that do you have at least rakia? i started to be like serbian in that way because ah. i'm okay with drinking rakia anytime oh, during please. the day so is there, kind of, <laughs> is there a specific kind that you like best? I mean, depends, actually depends on who, who made it, you know, mm. it has to be homemade and mm. uh, I like the taste of Shiliva more, oh, okay. um, but sometimes apricot turns out to be very great as well. Mm. I love apricot, apricot, kaisia, um, uh, dunya, mm. Mm. and that there's another one, uh, the pear. Viljamoka, Viljamoka, yeah, Viljamoka think, yeah. which is pear, yeah, 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 mm-hmm. these ones, but it's, it's cons- considered as health, healthy, if you do, like, yes. drink one a day, so my grandpa, every morning, he drinks one with a um, walnut, mm. and, uh, and it's, like, so he has one to kind of disinfect his mouth, and then he has one to drink, actually, so it's, like, mm. but he doesn't drink, obviously, a lot, but it's, like, he's 89, so, and I also love that like a serb will, you know, in the morning we'll even have, you know, like a beer and it's just, you just, you can have alcohol whenever you want. It's not such a big deal. Like there's no yeah. rule about like, you can only have it at this certain time. Or in oh, Canada, no. I don't know. I think it's, you know, I don't think, I don't think people drink in the morning or at all. Yeah. Or like, you know, so okay. cool. One tick. Second one, serves often get angry. Um, I don't notice that. Oh. I think they're 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 usually quite, you know, in high spirits and like. Mm. Do you think they're they get angry? really? That's a stereotype. I didn't know. I never would get noticed that. Uh yeah, I think they get really easily angry and uh, they they are really reactive as well. Mm. But um, but then they just get over it. Uh, yeah, but so I don't think they resolve it. But they just kind of like ah, sweep it under the rug, like whatever. Okay, fine. But yeah, they're really reactive, I would say. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Not- That's my personal experience, but but you'll see. You'll see. Maybe they're not anymore. <laughs> I can make a skit out of it and see how people yeah. react. <laughs> <laughs> Serbs are proud. Yes. Oh, huh. oh yes. Most proud to think of anyone, any culture I've ever been to. <laughs> Pretty. And they have every right to be. <laughs> okay we don't have a lot of time but two more serves are cold like they don't smile no i don't think so but like yeah. i think maybe maybe i don't know if you if you if you watch and they have more of that like resting bitch face yeah but if you that. like you'd be like you know they'll be done they'll just be like ah! like yeah how, how about you i don't know maybe not that much <laughs> maybe that, but yeah. they are i don't think they're that cold yeah mm. and the last one is serves like dark humor yes and yeah i think so i think so mm. yeah right especially the movies prove that uh, <laughs> oh yeah definitely the movies the what the in movies. the movies oh. you can see that mm. Mm. exactly now we will ask you to uh react to these questions quickly okay like without rapid questions okay yeah. yeah favorite serbian meal uh he's yelling Yelentina is pod satsa. Did I say oh, it right? okay. Yelentina is pod satsa. I I guess I know because it takes a long time to make it, so I, I understand. Mm. Okay, we have to type it out. I don't know that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite dessert? Um, it's like the, all the layers, and it's rolled with the sesame seed inside. So poppy seed. And I don't know the name of it, but it's rolled up and it has yeah. like pop, little black Even poppy seeds. Yeah. Yeah. Even it's a smakum. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> and then favorite place to visit in Serbia. 
Cal Magden. Oh, I love it too. <laughs> Mm. I just yes, love I, fortresses. I, I, I said, I'm like, what if I if I died, I want to be buried in the elephant. <laughs> if they are dark humor, dark humor. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, that's actually favorite spot in Belgrade is the next next question. So I'm guessing it is Kalamagdan because you want to be exactly. buried there. <laughs> okay. So favorite Serbian product. It could be edible or not. Oh. Hmm. I was going to say plasma, but I don't want to be cliche. So I was, so I'm going to say that there's, um, Nez Milos water. Ah, Knez Milos. Knez Milos water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also there's these like marshmallow candy things that. Marshmallow. I, <laughs> oh, I love them. I, they're not, I, I can't eat them anymore, but they are just. They were really and also good. there's other certain things that I don't know if they're like a brand, but there's like certain yogurts that I, that I like from the market mm. that can I just say everything at the farmer's market? <laughs> That's like yes. serving it. I would totally second that. <laughs> okay. The funniest or weirdest word in Serbian. Um, Maybe to pronounce hmm. or something or just how it sounds. I don't know. Or the meaning. Or the meaning. Oh, <laughs> oh um, Gosh, there's so many. I have to think of this. I think it was when, like, it's any of the like swears. I think, like, every time yeah. I hear them, but I don't want to be so cliche with the swears. But um, I think some of the street names are funny when I pronounce them. I don't know any like specific words off mm. off the top of my head. Mm -hmm. but Is it because I, every time I, Every time I like try to speak Serbian, I, I laugh because I feel like I sound silly when I say them because I, my accent is funny. <laughs> no, don't feel that. I, you, you, to me, you sound perfect. Oh, thank <laughs> As an you. Answer. Hey, like props to even you trying is already like a first step. And exactly. the most difficult word to pronounce is Serbian. Um... I wish I was prepared with these. Yeah, I can't even. I can't even think because the, all of the words are hard to pronounce. Yeah, like consonants, um, right? All of the consonants clusters. And even exactly. when I'm reading, I still get like the s's mixed up in the, with the c's, and mm. like I feel so bad when talking about this. But I, I feel like I need a, a new updated lesson. <laughs> um. I think we're out of time, though. Okay, yeah. but thank but, you very much. Exactly. Coming. Thank really you for having appreciate me your time. Here. Yeah. It was amazing really to see you. Yeah. I feel like I want to keep talking because I have questions for you. Maybe I should. Yeah, we should do the second round. This exactly. time you ask us questions. Yeah, we should. <laughs>